Here comes the Riot Squad! Look, Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, and Sarah Logan will readily admit, listen, we're not the best of friends. We don't have a whole lot in common except for one thing, and that is to run the women's division in WWE. Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? Corey, many people believe Charlotte may be the best pure athlete the women's division has ever seen. It's hard to argue that statement. Charlotte Flair has backed up every claim she has made since arriving in WWE. Multi-time champion, history maker, record setter, legend in the making. The Irish last kicker. Get head over heels. Tell us all why Becky Lynch is so great. A young lady who has prided herself on being different. A young lady who has prided herself on thinking outside the box. And she has taken that mentality to tremendous success here in WWE. Becky Lynch should be prosecuted for improper use of the metal horns out here dressed like something out of an H.G. Wells novel. The baddest woman on the planet is here! There is only one! Rowdy Ronda Rousey! Game face locked. She is ready to compete. This is a match that doesn't need a lot of hyper description. Just look in the ring. This is going to be an incredible six man tag match. Sit back and enjoy, guys. Oh. It's not every day you get to see. He's got the shoulders down. Charlotte gets the shoulder up. Not even close. This is going to end, Byron. Whatever happens, it's not going to be good. I can tell you that.
There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before the referee's 10 count or risk being counted out and lose the match for your team. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was a six-man tag match, breaks down into a Pier 6 brawl. And if you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruin it. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Ooh, what impact. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. And you know all three of the superstars he's up against won't back down at any point during this match. It's hard to tell at this point, but perhaps the unpredictable nature of this match is too much for him to overcome. That kick will stop you in your tracks. We know it's coming here. Is he done? He lets it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions, don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest. Ronda Rousey's done playing. This might be it! Oh, my! That's what he was looking for, Michael. Continuing to punish them. Oh, the arm's trapped. Oh, what a slam. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Gotta find a way to get out of this, Michael. Now, this is an impressive show of strength. Agreed, but I don't know how much longer this can go on. Bringing it back into the ring. Almost just a... And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. And he releases the hold. I don't think he had... Wow, I thought he was a goner. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt Family Compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. 
We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Corey, you spoke about when a superstar is in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that has cost their team the match. We've also seen over the years that not all superstars play well with others. Some competitors are so dedicated to singles careers that when they are put in a six-man team, they become a bit lost. That's when a mistake could be made, and it could be very costly. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. When you see Ruby Riot, you know that Sarah Logan and Liv Morgan are close by, just waiting to strike. And that is something that every competitor in the women's division must combat against. I don't like what you're insinuating, Cole. Ruby knows that when you're dealing with privileged people, the odds are often in their favor. Logan and Morgan even the score and pay immediate dividends. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Oh, what a slam! Landed him. To be expected, though, it's not like he's in there with a the slouch, guys. You know, there's an art to being a successful tag team competitor. And right now, there it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. He's looking at it. Is he done? Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Calling me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Wow, that won't separate your shoulder. That'll divorce it. Goodness. Oh, and a snap there. That'll give you a whiplash. Elbow right to the back of the neck. Oh. the impact. Thank you, Lynch. Set the exploder. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Thank you, Lynch. Just when you thought he had nothing left. What a six-man tag match. Now let's get another look at those six superstars going head-to-head -to -head and toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Who could forget this? He's getting after it here. Still can't believe I get paid to watch this amazing action.
Becky Lynch with the finishing touches in this one. That's a statement win, Michael. That's a win that says, hey, everybody, look at me. And that's the kind of action we've come to expect here on Raw. What an amazing match.